You know, what up, YouTube? Uh, it's Daryl Coleman again, coming back to you again. Uh, it's been a while. It's probably been about a month since I've, I've done something, but been extremely busy, uh, which is a good thing. That's what you want to be. Um, just wanted to give you another update, see where I'm at. Uh, everything is going well. It is uh, still brand new to me. I actually have one transaction in my belt now, so that's that's what's up. Uh, I had a buyer. They wanted to get a condo. It's the one I've been talking about this whole time. They did get a condo. Uh, actually closed escrow today. Signed all the paperwork. Um, handed them the keys tonight. You know, it was it was awesome. Uh, I actually gave them a gift basket. Um, they said they never really get to go to the movies. You know, money is real tight. So what I did was gave them a uh, a gift card as well as some items so they can actually watch a movie at home possibly. You know, they just bought this new home, so they got a couple of expenses that they might be having to pay for, but at least, you know, if they get a little time to, to watch something at home, hey man, that's a bonus. You gotta take it when you can. Um, part of a learning lesson right now, uh, a lot of the stuff, like I said, is brand new to me, so I really don't understand. And I, and I said it once before, uh, make sure you ask a lot of questions. Ask your broker something every day if you can, um, or if you have to. If you don't have to, then that's fine. But you know, if it's something new to you and you feel like you know it, still just ask anyway. You want to make sure that that you're doing everything in the in the right way, uh, because it could jeopardize the, the brokerage, could jeopardize your license. Um, and if you if you screw up your broker your well your broker's license, uh, yeah, they're not gonna be real happy with you. But um, all in all, you know, I'm real excited about what's happening. Um, I do have another buyer uh, and a buyer in the, in the making as well in the next six months or so once they fix their credit. But this one right here, you know, we've looked at a lot of homes. We found uh, exactly the one that they're looking for. You know, hopefully we're going to put an offer in real soon. Um, just when everything aligns together, we're going we're gonna to do it. And in this second uh buyer is actually going to be a lot easier i feel a lot more confident um than i did with the first one the first one i felt confident but there was a lot of hiccups that came along um a lot of times i didn't get the signature uh when i needed to get the signature so i had to go back and uh, follow up with those things um you just got to make sure you do everything there's a checklist that that your broker should give you uh make sure you're going by that checklist um most definitely, I'll be going by that checklist 100% from here on out. Uh, it doesn't matter how many sales I get. I, I want to make sure I follow that checklist and, and check every item off um, just to ensure that I'm doing it step by step. Because um, it, it's too easy to, to skip something. And then you don't want to do that on your buyer's expense or on your seller's expense. Um, you don't want to lose a deal because you didn't do what you were supposed to. So anybody that's looking to uh, get into real estate, you know, hey, uh, I'll give you a hand up, man. I definitely say let's try it. Uh, put yourself out there in the fire. It's a it's a tough uh, industry to get into, but let me tell you something very fun. Uh, when I went today to hand over the keys to my buyer, I tell you what, man, that smile on their face was was one of the greatest things I can ever ask for. I actually hung out with them for about 10 or 12 minutes. You know, I didn't want to take up too much of their time. They had items in the car, which uh, you know I did the same thing. I said, let me just put like anything in here. I don't care if it's a balloon. Uh, it could have been a pencil. If it was my pencil, that's my house now. I got the keys. I'm putting the pencil in there. You know, really, I don't. I don't care. You know, you're the owner of that property now, and to have that milestone under your belt, and then to be moving forward in life is great. You know, hopefully they can have some kids. Um, the young lady was a teacher. The young man's, you know, he's working at Target. You know, as a stalker right now. So. You know, I hope the best for them, and uh, hopefully I can, you know, keep in touch with them and, and, you know, help out friends and family, have a good word from them. Um, but I will be reaching out to them for the holidays, so the biggest thing is make sure you follow up during the holidays, um, their birthdays. If you can remember their birthdays or send out cards to them, you know, just thanking them for, for being a client, make sure you do that. Um, so I will be doing that, and then uh, hopefully I can have a lot more follow-up videos. Um, of what's happening. Maybe I got some more buyers, maybe I got some more listers, maybe it's you. Um, just talk to me, you know. Again, my name's Daryl. Uh, hit me up, give me a call, text, whatever. Uh, my information and email will be on the bottom. You know, if you like this, subscribe, uh, hit the like button, keep following me. I definitely want to talk to you guys some more. 
Um, it was challenging, like I said, but I'm excited. So hopefully I can bring you guys something new. Um, if you have any questions, please ask them. All right, talk to y'all later.